Checking out a brand new store we just got opened up here in our city. Wheeler Mission Store. Check it out, see what they got in here. I know they have a place downtown Indianapolis, but now they have one on the north side. Here we stop on in, see what goodies can be found. Hmm. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. Looks nice and clean. Organized. That's a positive. Ooh, I got a Colts rack. Austin Collie jersey. Might be a hard sell. Andrew Luck jersey. That's a hard sell. Here's a Dallas Clark jersey. They got all kinds of Colts stuff here. They got jackets. Wow, if you're a Colts fan. Joseph Adai jersey. Game Breakers, Mike Bibby, Lorenzo Kane. Here's some like NASCAR cars. So these have value to them, I think. Don't they? Or they have to be in the packages still, I think. Probably. Probably gonna be in the packages. I was gonna say, it's a problem when the pitcher has a crack in it. Yeah. It does. I would not use that. What are some butt kicking boots? That's a. It's a big size, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's a 13 to 18. Hmm. That's a very wide range, 13 to 18. Back there, they got some Nikes back there. There's a coach shoes. Ooh, that's a sign by, oh, is that Victor Oladipo? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, there's some comics up there. Even. Oh, is that signed by the band Molly Hatchet? It is. <laughs> That's signed by the band Molly Hatchet. Victor Oladipo shirts, fifty dollars. Might have to take a glance at those comics before we leave to see what's back there. The way that they're they're standing, they're all getting like kind of bent on the spines of how they have them. But I'm intrigued what might be back there though. Should we just go back there? You think? Or oh, is there a sign that says you can't? Can we just go back there? It says, we are happy to assist with items oh. behind the counter. Oh, here she oh, is. There. Hi. Hey, can we see the comics that are back there? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. They're right oh, up there. Oh, up here. I just want to see what is all. Oh, the comic books. Okay. Like, what's there in that stack go. of comics? Yeah. Oh. You want to see those Indiana Jones? Maybe that's. All the Indiana Jordan. Jones. Yeah, go ahead and look at Okay, them. thank you. Uh, so, individually priced. Huh? They're all individually priced. Yeah. Why is that one 50? Number five, number 20. I don't know Indiana Jones enough to really know. Number seven, number 20, 24, number six. And they're all in pretty rough shape. Why is that one $50? Indiana Jones. Look, the only one with any value is number one. It's worth a high of 12, mid of three, and the lowest one to have is number five. So from this series of this run, only number one has any value to it. So, never mind on that. You're unsure, always look it up before you buy them. There's more signed stuff in here. I didn't even see all this. Signed Firestone cap by Carmelo Anthony. Oh, that LeBron James is faker. That thing is so fake. That LeBron James is a, that's a fake LeBron. Reggie Bush, Tim Duncan, Tim Francis, Marvin Harrison. Yeah, LeBron is never signed like that. That's fake. They look like they've all been signed by the same person. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Yeah, that's fake. Molly. So since you found one possible fake there, that means there might be more autograph fakes here. We got a whole wall of shoes over there. I guess we'll start way over to the left to begin with. See so what kind of shoes they got over here. Timberlands. Very lightly used Timberlands. Reeboks. 
It's all dress shoes there. We got a lot of DVDs, lots of Blu-rays. They got video games. PS4. Only three dollars a game. That's actually a really good price. Three bucks a game. Wii, Xbox. I don't see any PlayStation 5 or Xbox. Was it the new system, whatever it's called, one or? I don't see any of those. <laughs> That's cute. Well, this is what the uh, the football players are wearing before the season starts. These these things on top of their helmets. But I think this is very small, though. Wow, look at that. That's a fun thing. Three bucks. Yeah, trying to find anything that might have pretty good value to it. Well, that's that's old there. Kirk Gibson. Somebody want a trophy? Guess they want to keep it though. Board game. Ooh. Only three dollars? No. That's what it says. Oh, eight dollars. <laughs> and a sealed Dr. Seuss. Wow. That's nine dollars. Any good value there though? No. It was on clearance for fourteen ninety. Yeah. So probably not much left there. And you've got the sealed DVD board game of twenty four. Five bucks. Oh. Sealed dominoes. Wow. And kids carts. Wow. They really got lots of new toys. These are old ones here. This is back in like what nineties? Yeah, there's ninety seven. Deadlift strength. Well, that's neat. If you're a collector of that kind of stuff. Hot Wheels are 2002. I don't know Hot Wheels enough to even know which ones are good, which ones you should buy. I have no clue. That's beyond my realm. Bobblehead. Jackie Bradley Jr. Pets Alive. These things used to be really good sellers. I think it's factory. <laughs> it's butt shakes. <laughs> Used to be good sellers several years back. There's a brand new leap pad. Not much value on those anymore though. Brand new factory seal 2002 leap pad. Quite a bit of factory sealed stuff here. Looking for any kind of new toys. There's a Mario Kart racing system. Eighteen dollars. Hmm. I found the section of underwear. That's fun. It's pretty expensive though. For the underwear. It's like ten. Yeah, like twelve. Yeah, it's pretty much retail actually, or maybe above retail price right there for the underwear. I got diapers. Looks like this place actually had some things donated by like truckload pallets yeah. of a. Uh, old merchandise there's a lot of really nice dolls these always look expensive but they never are electronic stuff in this aisle school supplies that's kind of this place has a lot more stuff than what like goodwill has salvation army has they just have a lot more aisles there's a lot more stuff here quite a bit lots of new stuff which is nice i think places like target and walmart they might be donating to this place too there's a lot of new stuff, which is which is nice. I know the Wheeler Mission donates a lot of money to help the homeless and other charities around the city. They do a lot of good stuff. Like some more electronics out through here. Oh, there's a there's a Colts crock pot. Cook and carry Colts crock pot. It says no warranty, sold as is. It's still that thing's still factory sealed. I think it's got some water damage on it though. Now the other side and go down it. Let me cut over here. Over here just all lamps to the left of us. We'll skip all the lamps. Computer printer, pass. There's a boom box down there if you can see it. Charging dock for PlayStation, what's that? PS3, I think. Or maybe it's PS4. What is this? Sony Internet TV. Lots of the older Sony stuff can go for some crazy value. Internet TV box, Sony. Yeah, I don't think this kind of stuff has a lot of value to it, though. 
some of the older Sony stuff, like this kind of things, can have some value to them. But this one, they want $13 on it. But I don't really mess with this stuff much anymore like I used to. There's some VR glasses powered by Oculus, Samsung. Did you find something good? Oh, paper towel dispensers? It was automatic paper towel dispensers, so. Oh. But it's like 20 bucks they're asking, and it sells for like 30 on eBay. Hmm. Baby section again? Lots of baby stuff, which is good. This stuff's expensive in stores. Like some of these stores look, they're in fantastic shape. Nice bear shirt. How much are they like dry foot clothing? $11? Eh, it's not too bad. A little on the high side. But not horrible, horrible. But everything here does go to a good cause, though. Every every penny spent does go to a good cause. Wow, look at that thing. <laughs> That's awesome. That's super cool. Lots of furniture here. A lot of it's like really good quality furniture. Not like torn up and beat up and stuff. Lots of life left and lots of furniture here. No, nah, I didn't really find anything of any kind of crazy value or anything. Lots of nice stuff here though. But nothing really that can be resold. Mm -hmm. But it has lots of lots of nice stuff. Lots of brand new product. If you're looking to save a little bit of money. Not bad though. And it doesn't smell like a thrift shop, which is nice. You know how some of the Goodwills you go into, it smells like a thrift shop. This actually smells like a nice store. <laughs> I think that might be about it for the store. Okay. That is it for the Wheeler Mission here in Fishers, Indiana. Did you have fun, darling? Uh, it was nice to see another place. Decent stuff, but so that was the, the new Wheeler mission adventure trip it is complete and i'll see you next time